Okay, so there was this guy I knew once, and this is a perfect example of women's insatiable nature. Okay, um, I'm going to try to be brief, concise here. There's a moral to this story at the end. The, the thesis is basically women's nature is that they will never be satisfied. Plenty of people have this, but let's go on to the story. All right. So I knew this guy once upon a time. Uh, a real traditional, how would you say, um, uh, in a biological, anthropological, uh, primatological sense, uh, an alpha male. All right, um, big dude, uh, 6'4", 6'5", 250 pounds of just meat, right? He wasn't ripped, he wasn't cut. But it was obvious that um, he did a lot of Conan style work. Okay, um, fairly good looking for a guy who lived a rough life, has a rough job, uh, comes from a poor background. Uh, not really well educated, but he had a lot of uh, fluid or liquid G instead of crystal G. For those of you who don't know what G is, G is like a, the more appropriate academic or scholastic version of IQ intelligence. There's different kinds of intelligence, uh, pedantic parsing, I won't get into it. Let's just say he was really quick on the uptake. Um, he was also generally super aggressive when you fuck with him, and not afraid to get in a fight. Uh, a guy this big obviously been in a lot of fights uh, he lost a, a tooth one of uh, the front ones I figure what they're called um, and he had a pretty good job alright so big guy uh, muscly good looking fit good immune system relatively good job from where he came from quick on the uptake uh, when he was in a good mood he was a really nice guy to be around and you pissed him off, one of these guys you didn't want to piss off. <clears throat> okay. So in typical alpha male fashion, a guy like this, uh, he had a few children from a few different ladies. No big deal. Uh, they were farther back in his youth. Um, farther back in his youth uh, and lands far far away uh, they weren't after him for child support this is typical of women who have children by these kind of guys right, uh, don't really want child support and get it from someone else they were just happy for the sperm donation alright okay um this guy had been in and out of prison, in and out of prison for his 20s. Uh, uh, very assaulting kind of dude. Uh, very aggressive I mean, when you pissed him off. Um, caught a bunch of cases, uh, went to prison, came out. Now, okay, so he's trying to get his life together. Bing, bang, boom, done. Did it. Got a good job. Bam. For a guy who dropped out of high school. Um, for a guy who's got a serious criminal record, serious rap sheet, he got a good paying job, a skilled trade job, blue collar job, an important job society can't live without. If he didn't do his job, uh, the rest of us might be in trouble. All right, so he gets a car, gets land, and typical. Um, Pardon me for saying this. In typical white trash, white trash fashion, he puts a trailer on his land. All right, he owns all this stuff: uh, car, uh, house, land. Bing, bang, boom, done. Into his life comes a woman. Um, appropriately pretty. Uh, appropriately cultured, from the lower class. Um, she doesn't want a kid 
they don't have a kid, she still shacks up, moves in with him. A few years go by, he marries her. Bing, bang, boom, done. Right? Now, so this woman didn't work. Um, she didn't do much of anything but stay at home and have sex with him. Oh, backtrack a little about this guy. Um, this guy, if the feminist definition of sexual assault, if the feminist definition of rape, uh, this guy was coerced uh, into having sex with many women, uh, especially when he was in prison, uh, various other centers. Uh, he doesn't complain about it. Yeah, hey, uh, sexual assault, sexual coercion. It happened to a lot of men, a lot. Women do it, just don't talk about it. This guy talks about it, he wasn't bragging. Hey, nothing better to do in prison. If you have access to pussy, take it. All right. That's just a feminist aside there. It happens to men all the time. People acting like sexual assault, sexual abuse, sexual objectification, sexual battery, sexual coercion, uh, bad sexual mistakes. Uh, in the manosphere lately, we're acting like these are some sort of imaginary things that don't happen to a lot of people a lot of the time. Yeah, um, like those women who complain being beautiful ruin their lives uh, men who are how shall I say uh, attracted to the opposite sex suffer the same uh, slings and arrows we've just been taught to look on the bright side about it and not to bitch about it too much but it does happen alright okay so this woman's just chilling she's got herself a great man by all uh, quantitative and qualitative factors and variables and all the research says she should be happy with she's happy right um, you know a guy's good in bed or whatever uh, there, there's nothing he is doing wrong right especially compared to where he came from especially considering the baggage he has and especially considering where his wife came from Right. She has hit the white trash jackpot. Bing, bang, boom, done. A few more years go by. And for absolutely no reason, she leaves him. Not only does she leave him, right, but she goes to another state where the divorce laws are different and she like takes him for everything I mean everything remember guys it doesn't matter where you get married it matters where she divorces your ass <clears throat> alright so to wrap this up for all those guys out there who think they're not tall enough strong enough fit enough, aggressive enough, smart enough, um, uh, have a, enough money, enough property, enough things, independent enough, not bad boy enough. For, for whatever aspect of your life you think you are deficient in that either caused your woman to leave you or is standing in the way of you getting a woman, remember man, uh, a woman's hunger will never be sated their ambition knows no bounds they will never be happy no matter how quantitatively happy they should be in time they will always get sick of you and in time they will eventually leave you and when they do they will financially fuck you this will happen to you all right it happens to every guy every guy eventually over time over a long enough timeline all people die over a long enough timeline all women leave all right there is nothing I think this guy did wrong pickup artists would say he wasn't gaming her enough whatever this guy was born game um, 
what, what, whatever anyone would say was this guy's problem uh, wasn't. Good guy, right? Good guy. Really decent human being. Just don't piss him off, right? Okay, this imaginary man who was actually quite real that every woman thinks they want, several women had. And this one woman who finally lasted him in, bam, took him. Took him for his car, truck, I think truck or car, took him for his automobile, took him for his house, his land. And even though they had no kid, no kid, this guy is still ponying up a third of his monthly income to a woman who's not even sleeping with him anymore. Right? Just remember, it happens to every man. Over a long enough timeline, your woman will leave you. And for no reason, other than she thinks she can do better. Or over a long enough timeline, you revealed yourself to be only human. She starts seeing only your weaknesses, only your failures, and none of your successes or good qualities. And then, um, oh, and then part B, the other moral of this story. And this pissed me off too. They will financially screw you. Even if you're not married to them, they will find some way to do this shit to you. They enjoy doing it. I don't know why. I've seen too many guys get financially screwed somehow. Even on girlfriends that were only dating a few months. Um, I'm not going to judge women on this. Right? I just think it's an odd characteristic. Characteristic. Um... So there you go. Moral of the story. My first matriarchy tale. I hope that was clear enough, concise enough, quick enough. Believe it. Accept it. And there you go. Peace and long life, brothers. Yours truly. M. <laughs>